Forensics say and investigators have also been piecing together the additional steps police took to track down this suspect. We've learned the FBI was able to match his cell phone pings to each of the bombing sites. And they were able to identify him on surveillance video at stores where he dropped off packages and bought bomb making supplies. Eyewitnesses there were also able to help police pinpoint his car, which led them to his driver's license and then more importantly, his identity. And then to track him down, they looked at the materials he used and where he purchased them. One of those stores was Fry's, an electronics store in North Austin, where he made a purchase late last month. And tonight, a store manager tells KXAN investigator Jody Barr receipts at Fry's matched a credit card at the hotel where the suspect might have been staying. He was purchasing some battery holders such as these here. Jen Meyer is standing in the same spot bomber Mark Condit stood just three days before the first bomb exploded in Austin. This February 27th surveillance video from Fry's Electronics shows Condit walk into the store and purchase more than 20 electronic parts. Condit spends nearly 20 minutes inside before paying for the items and walking out the door. So the ATF comes in with a subpoena in hand. What were they looking for from you? They were looking for any invoices that we may have um, and any purchases or surveillance video that we may have on him. What did those invoices show was purchased here? It showed approximately 20 small components. Um, again, the battery packs and um, some other resistors and stuff of that nature. Is this an odd purchase at the time? Is this something that people would just um, ordinarily purchase? No, we do have a lot of people that come in and, and buy components, so it's not that unusual that he was making these purchases. By the time of the subpoena, investigators had already collected parts from the bombs that had already exploded around Austin. Meyer says she turned over a list of receipts from 30 different customers who bought similar items as Condit. It wasn't until that FedEx surveillance video that investigators had a name of the prime suspect to match up with one of those invoices and the surveillance videos at Fry's Electronics. Did the investigators ever clue you in that, hey, some of these components may be involved in this bombing investigation? Yes, they did tell us that. When you watch that video back again, this just looks like any ordinary customer interacting with your employees here, checked out at the register. Nothing looked out of place. Correct. He looked like hundreds of customers we have every day. Jody Barr, KXAN Investigates. But it wasn't just those purchases that led law enforcement to the hotel where Condit was staying. As we mentioned, KXAN investigators have also learned cell phone triangulation played a big part. That's when a cell phone's location data is collected from nearby cell towers. Today, with the prevalence of 4G technology, it's more effective than ever. It helps GPS track the phone within 5 to 10 feet. It can also provide historical location details. It can even ping the phone, forcing it to reveal its exact location. 